Now let's dive into pigment mixing and natural colors. These features are rarely found in digital art software, yet are essential to faithfully emulating the look of traditional paint. You can find pigment mixing in the layers panel, and it can be enabled or disabled per layer. Natural colors is found in the edit menu, and it is enabled by default. It is compatible with all brush types except oil slash acrylics. You'll need to select the paint and mix or paint and blend modes to utilize color mixing. Natural colors blends colors together in a more natural way than standard computer color mixing. For example, with natural colors disabled, yellow and indigo make gray, not green like you might expect if you come from a traditional art background. I'll enable natural colors and blend those two colors together again, and you can see I get a more natural blend, but it's still not perfect. I'll also enable pigment mixing and paint a couple more strokes. Now yellow and blue mix to make a more vibrant and natural looking green. Pigment mixing will also give you a more natural shift in hue and vibrancy as you dilute or thin out certain pigments. For the most part, pigment mixing does not affect mixtures of paint that are already on the canvas, only new paint, though you may see a slight shift in vibrancy when you enable or disable the property. It's important to note that you cannot use layer blending modes on layers with pigment mixing enabled. There are some color sets that complement pigment mixing by featuring paints with names and blending properties from the traditional art world, such as alizarin crimson. These sets are marked with an icon. See the lesson about color to learn more. If you want additional information about mixing colors on a computer, check out my reference video. Gamma correction is another property that can control how colors blend together. This is found in the edit menu, and it can be applied to everything except oil slash acrylics. Pigment mixing must be disabled for gamma correction to work. Gamma correction will lighten the margin between two colors as they are blended together or overlapped. This can reduce dark overlaps when mixing colors and banding when creating gradients, so it is enabled by default. The best way to see this is to view a color gradient in grayscale with and without gamma correction. Observe how the intermediate color gets a bit brighter where the two colors meet. This creates a more natural transition in brightness that is more pleasing to the human eye. 